I am Anil Kumar discussing with you the questions which sometimes students may not get correct in their final exam. Now once you know how to solve them, you should expect to get 100% marks in your final exam. So here is the one which involves log of logarithms. Let us find the easiest way of solving it. The question which I am going to discuss with you now is if log to the base a of x y cube equals to k and log to the base a of x cube y square equals to p show that x equals to a to the power of 3p minus 2k over 7 and y is equals to a to the power of 3k minus p over 7. You can copy the question, solve it and then check with my solution. In this particular video, I am going to give you the simplest possible solution of this question. Uh, I already have solution of this question in my videos. I'll provide you link with similar questions. Now let's look into its solution. We need to show that x is equals to a to the power of something, y is equals to a to the power of something. We'll begin with what we really want to prove. 3p minus 2k over 7. Let us figure out what is 3p minus 2k equals to. Right? We are given that k is log a of x y cube, p is log a of x cube y square. So let's replace p and k with what is given to us. So we'll write three times and p is log to the base a of x cube y square minus two times k is equals to log to the base a of x y cube. Now we can apply the power rule so we get log a of x cube y square and everything cube because of this 3 minus 2 times log of base a x y cube now instead of 2 we'll square this perfect let's open this and then divide so we get log of I'm following steps here and I'll go kind of few steps in this. So we get here the numerator, I mean this 3 times 3 is 9, y 3 times 2 is 6, minus log to the base a of x square y to the power of 6. Now we can apply the quotient rules. We get log to the base a of x to the power of 9, y to the power of 6, divided by x square y to the power of 6, right? So this could be written as log to the base a of x to the power of 7. Do you see that? y to the power of 6, y to the power of 6 cancel. 9 minus 2 is 7. Now all this is equals to 3p minus 2k. Let me write this here. 3p minus 2k. So it means what? It means that I could use power rule now and I will write this as 7 times log a to the power of x is equals to 3p minus 2k. Now I can divide by 7, right? So let me take it to the right side of this and then show you rest of the things here. So I can write this as 3p minus 2k divided by 7 is equals to log a of x. Now converting this to exponential, I will write a to the power of 3p minus 2k over 7 is equals to x, correct? So that is how you can show that x is equal to this which is right there so that is how you can show right let us follow these steps once again to show what is the value of y so this time we are going to calculate 3k minus p okay now you can pause the video do all these calculations then check with my solution okay 3 times k so 3 times k is 3 times log to the base a of x y q minus p and p is log to the base a of x q y square right so this could be written as log to the base a of so i'll do cube of this right so x y q whole q minus log to the base a of x q y square correct now this minus means I have to divide quotient. So first I will do x cube y to the power of 9 minus 
x cube y square. So that gives us log to the base a of x cube x cube cancel out y to the power of 7. This could be written as, I mean y to the power of 7, yeah, y. So this could be written as 7 times log to the base a of y, correct? And this is equal to 3k, so this is all equals to 3k minus p. 7, let me divide this by 7, 3k minus p divided by 7 is equals to log to the base a of y and so y is equals to a to the power of 3k minus p divided by 7. Do you see that? So that is probably the easiest and the simplest way of doing it without thinking much. Straightforward. That is how you can solve all such questions. So we have a couple of questions like this. I will provide you with their links and I hope it helps. Thank you and all the best.